my channel. Thank you so much for being here and watching today's video. How are you guys all doing? Happy 2023. This is either my second or my first video. So if you're new here, hello, welcome to my channel. How are you guys all doing? Thank you so much for being here and watching today's video. And if you are a subscriber or someone that watches my channel regularly then thank you so much for the support last year and continuing into this year it honestly means the world to me and if there's anything you guys want to see then do let me know as well just leave a comment down below and I'll get around to filming it for you guys but in today's video really excitingly I am doing a roundup of some cozy pieces on taking skiing but also ski wear so a few suits as well in this video that I'm taking skiing this month I can't believe how quickly this has come around I think we booked it in November time and I can't ski I can snowboard but I can't ski so I feel like this is very much like all the gear no idea kind of video but when we go I've got lessons and I think I'm probably going to invest in around three to four lessons when I'm there depending on how I do for the first two lessons that we have booked so I am so so excited I hope I'm all right at skiing I managed to do snowboarding okay after like three lessons so fingers crossed very very excited excited to vlog the trip it's going to be a super fun girls trip as well so we're all probably going to be vlogging and it's yeah just going to be such a laugh to take you guys along so that will be coming out this month as well but without further ado I'm not going to ramble on too much let's get into outfit number one so I'm starting with cozy outfits for the trip so I'm gonna do like a roundup I think it's like four or five outfits that I've got for kind of chilling out in the chalet if we're going to like walk somewhere and grab dinner so for example this one here I have a black long coat to style with this like over the top as well but this is going to be like the first evening dinner that we go for because I know I'm just going to want to be comfortable I am layered up with thermals underneath this outfit as well which I think I have filmed a little clip of the thermals I have so I'm going to leave that on the screen first here as well but they are from M&S and I love them I really rate them I also have thermals from Uniqlo which is their like heat tech range which are amazing so really recommend those as well but these ones are M&S and I got these in two different sets and two colours so I've got the cream and the black fit true to size and really 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 comfortable and soft as well which I love like I'm all about comfort and just having something that's like feels good at the same time but then layering up over my or under I should say my Lululemon flares these are actually flares that I got two months ago and I've been waiting to get them taken in because when I wear them with trainers they are way too long for me but I've actually held off getting them taken in because they're the perfect length when I'm wearing my snow boots and although I won't be skiing in these I just know that if I'm going to go out for dinners and want to be comfortable they are so comfy and they're the perfect length with these snow boots because they're so platform and so chunky as well and these are the moon boots as well which you'll kind of see a bit more details of in the next like couple of outfits as well but literally like walking on foam it's like wearing your bed on your foot that's the only way to describe it it is so comfortable and I am a big Lulu like a line pant lover they are the best of the best so so comfortable they just feel like silky buttery soft on which I love and then I've just gone for thermal top roll neck and then this super cuddly fluffy fake fur like hooded jacket which then I'll layer over with a puffer coat as well but something that I can just be super comfortable in after a day of skiing or potentially when we get there I'll probably wear this on the plane I'm thinking on the way there just because because the boots are way too big to fit in my case with my ski suits honestly how does anyone ever pack for a ski season or something like that I do not know but yeah I just feel like I'm gonna be wearing these just to kind of save space in my case but just a cozy lovely one that will be super comfortable for evenings and that kind of thing next up this cream kind of tonal outfit that I've got going on here I've gone for my Gymshark set underneath this so long sleeve top and then over the top I put a thermal roll neck on and then a little gilet on underneath and then a teddy coat over the top and then white snow chunky boots these are lined with like fleece and I've had them for I want to say eight nine years like I've literally had them for the longest time I cannot for the life of me remember where they're from I will try and find similars and link similars down below but took these when I went snowboarding just for like walking around the town and that kind of thing and just thought this would be like a great kind of cuddled up again kind of evening cozy look that I could just layer up with all those pieces and thermals and be super cozy for dinners if we're going to have more of a chilled one with this one though this is one of the ones that if I can't fit it in I'm not taking it kind of outfit but I wanted to include it anyway because I still am not decided on the exact kind of like comfy cozy 
pieces I'm taking but this is probably one that I would then have to miss just because the coat is so big and I'm trying to like strategically think about the fact that a lot of my outfits for this trip are neutral and like black and things like that just because I know I get white things so dirty so potentially I'm going to probably stick with more of those neutral tones in my outfit for this trip so yeah this could be one that was maybe missed but I just thought for showing you how I layer up the neutrals and kind of mix and match the different tones is one thing I really like doing when I'm doing like cozy outfits as well Next up, this is just an evening in the chalet or chilling out in the chalet with the girls outfit. I won't be wearing this out, not a chance, but I have been wearing this out like at the moment <laughs> at home and I've been wearing the hoodie separately with jeans and the skirt as well separately with like chunky black boots and a black roll neck and things like that. But for just chilling out in the chalet, it's literally the coziest, softest material ever. It is so snug, so comfortable. I know I'm probably gonna wanna wear this at any given opportunity and these slippers are so fun. So I'm gonna be taking these and this is actually a full outfit from Pull and Bear, but I love the slippers because you've got that like chunky sole to them as well and then they're perfect if I needed to like quickly run onto the decking, sit on the decking for a bit. Don't know if I'll be doing that. I'm trying to like picture where I would wear them out, but at home they're great for kind of like running to the shopping and things like that, which I wore them out the other day and someone was like, have you come out in your slippers? And I was like, yeah, but that's fine, right? <laughs> I feel like that's all right. I was quite shocked that someone had commented on them, but I feel like I'm all about being cozy at the moment. I don't really care. And they're just like a chunky proper sole underneath. So yeah, I absolutely love them and really wish you guys could feel through the screen because this set is like so, so snug. Next up, this is again another kind of like outfit that I would wear for a dinner, wear out in the day if we were going for like a breakfast or something like that, then I'd probably walk there in this. I am wearing my thermal leggings and then two layers of Adenola and then a Tala black legging because I really wanted in this video to actually fully put on everything that I've got that I want to take for layering up and being warm enough. However, I have just ordered some really like tight ski trousers so I feel like they might work as an added layer if I feel like it's way too cold just to wear the leggings like this which it potentially will be but this coat and scarf and little headband combo my god I am literally obsessed with this be prepared if you follow me over on Instagram or TikTok to see me styling these pieces so many ways I have a thing for like gray at the moment I don't know what it is I also have a thing for like head things at the moment I think it's because I'm growing my side bangs out and it's just so easy putting something like this <laughs> on my head but I love this combo together and with the moon boots so you can kind of see them a bit more up close here they are so fun so comfortable fit true to size and yeah I just love the kind of high versions of these however I do think which you will see with like some of my ski pants is that if you are looking to have ones that you can wear all the time with pretty much every ski outfit then I think the low ones are a good one like good pair to invest in because I love the high ones however they do kind of make the bottom of a ski trouser very very bulky I don't really care about that at this point but I'm sure no one else will care about that but just in case I feel like if you do wear your ski suits a lot and it's something that you do regularly and you're looking to invest in them then maybe the shorter ones would be good for that and a bit better for that I don't know but yeah I do love love them very very happy with them and I also got them with a 20% off on Farfetch so definitely like type in on Instagram a hashtag for Farfetch and just see if there's anyone out there that has a discount code because I always like search like for naked fashion or Farfetch disc like the hashtag and then find people that just have discount codes because I feel like they very regularly do discount codes for their sites so I actually managed to get 20% off these so they were around 80 pounds which was amazing but yeah just loving the grey and grey and grey combo and yeah these glasses as well from Naked Fashion and I'm just obsessed with them but yeah this is definitely like breakfast going out in the evening for more of a chilled dinner which I'm sure we'll have one or two nights where we go out out but then I'm sure we'll have a few like cozy kind of evenings in or like wandering around kind of moments <laughs> so I feel like this will be for that okay next up this one I'm not a hundred percent sure on this tracksuit only because it's quite like since wearing it and like trying it on that's quite bobbly so I'm gonna say the quality of this isn't great this is the snow top shop range which to be fair I have like a piece at the end which I'm sharing which is very very premium and high quality and I love it obviously I haven't worn it actually out and about skiing so I can't say that yet I guess but 
from like wearing it around and trying it on a couple of times it feels very premium which you'll see at the end but this I'm not that impressed with and it was something that I was planning to one have like in the chalet and be super cozy but two also wear on the plane and have as like my comfy kind of outfit on the way there but I think after seeing the bobbles on after trying it on twice I'm gonna return it so I filmed this and then I was like looking at it after I'd filmed trying it on but yeah I just wasn't sure if it's worth the money but I love the colour I think it's so fun but I just wanted to quickly show you guys that tracksuit there as well but yeah just being honest I feel like this is more of a try on haul because I was trying stuff on for the like second time today like properly so yeah that one I love the colour but unfortunately quality doesn't kind of match up with how much I spent on it. Another kind of like cozy comfy outfit so I'm styling here the what is the, how do I pronounce the name of this brand I don't want to butcher it I think it's Amy Lynn, not Amy, I was gonna say Amy Lee. It's Amy Lynn and they do really, really high quality premium, like sustainable pieces for their gym wear, as well as some amazing like going out outfits and things like that, that I love from the brand. But I've had this zip up thermal kind of gym top from them for so long. And it is the perfect layering piece. Like when I went snowboarding, this is what I wore pretty much under like every day so the like till the point where it was like too sweaty to actually put it back on because I've been wearing it for so long but I love the shape of it so I'm wearing that underneath this puffer I've got my earmuffs on got the double layered of the leggings again here and then I've got the boots on too as just like again just styling those pieces again that I'll have with me and having it as like a cozy kind of going out outfit and I probably would wear this like if we're going back from skiing I'd probably put this on if we were going out to a bar because I feel like it's that kind of outfit that I can really layer under with thermals but I'm super comfortable in it and it's kind of like a good piece to kind of take off my ski suit and be in those layers anyway so I can do like a quick change potentially but this puff is going to be the one that I take with me this is from weekday and it is so snug again took this snowboarding when I went a couple of years ago and I just love the shape and fit of it and you can really layer on like lots and lots and lots underneath it which is ideal now on to the ski pieces and the suits and sets and things like that starting with this insane ski suit this is from goldberg and pre-warning this is a very 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 expensive suit <laughs> i actually for my like end of year kind of i feel like i don't have to explain myself but sometimes i feel like i do but this for me was a massive investment piece. I actually got 25% off this again on Farfetch. It was quite a lot of money on the original website and then I saw it was in sale on Farfetch and then I got the additional 20% off on top of it because I like set up a first time user account which managed to get me off quite a lot of money. So I was like, oh, I'll try it. I'll see how it fits. And I've just fallen in love with the shape of it, the fit of it, the quality of it. It's insane. There are compartments at like every little bit of the suit. Like you've got the compartments for your like keys and card on the side of the sleeve, like there as well. And it has a like inner lining of waterproofs on the like second half leg of the trousers. And then you've got fleece all the way through. It is so warm. I'm also wearing double layer of thermals under this as well. And I actually did go true to size in this ski suit. I feel like ski suits are the hardest to nail with sizing because you want to be able to fit enough under them, but you also want them to be comfortable and you can move in them and they're fitted and things like that. So finding the right sizes in ski suits was quite challenging, but this one is true to size. I found personally, I read reviews saying sometimes to size up and things like that, but I went for my true to size fit in this when I was looking at the measurements and it literally is a dream. I just, yeah, I love it. And the fake fur on the hood is detachable as well. But yeah, I think it's really cool. And I will definitely be wearing this for years and years and years and years, which is why I invested in something like this because this will be one that I know that I'll always have. Next up, how cool is this navy suit? This is from Jack Wills, guys. This is honestly such a cool suit. Me and the girls actually have like variations or matching of this together, which is really exciting. I love this it feels really high quality I love the shape of it we were recommended with these to size up one size I can't remember the exact size I'm wearing but I will leave it down where I link it down in the description but it is slightly big and we were umming and ahhing me and the girls about the sizes of this because we did all size up one and it 
felt slightly big even with thermals on underneath when we did that however i've worked out how to make it work so i've got three layers of thermals on underneath and then i've double knotted the belt because the belt isn't adjustable so it's overall such a stunning suit i love every single detail of it i love like the feel of it you feel really comfortable in it it's very lightweight it's perfect for packing because you can like squeeze it down to be about there so it's like fit in my suitcase perfectly however the belt doesn't adjust so you can buy adjustable ski belts online I've like researched those are different kind of stretchy adjustable ones from like Amazon and camping shops and things like that however for this one I actually realize you can just tie it in a knot so although that's not ideal it then allows you to kind of adjust it in that way and I don't think it's too noticeable that I've done that but Maybe it is, who knows? But I love this. It comes in a baby blue and black as well, which I thought was super fun. Okay, my battery just died, so hopefully the angle hasn't changed too much. But next up, this trouser and jacket set from Jack Wills. So they do loads of different colors and variations of their ski wear at the moment, which I think is super fun. They have like baby blues, they have the grays, they have the blacks, they have, yeah, just such a big range to choose from. This is the black ski flare trousers and then the belted puffer coat and again sized up in these which actually the coat fits perfectly. I'm glad I did size up in this because it's that perfect kind of fit but again I've knotted the belt just to have the belt around the jacket a little bit tighter and fitted underneath like well over the top of my thermals and then the trousers I did size up in however they don't come with a belt they've got belt loops so you can add a belt which I've done with them which you'll see at the end in a bit more detail but again I feel like I probably should have gone true to size in the trousers because of the flared shape of them. I feel like I'd still be able to layer with thermals. However, I'd actually prefer not to have to wear a belt with them just to be like super comfortable on the slopes and things like that. However, it's not the end of the world. I think they're super fun. But just letting you guys know in terms of like the way that they fit and things like that. But I really like this combo together. I think it's really comfortable and I feel like I can move quite well in it as well and I feel like this might be one of my favorites just because I feel quite snug but I feel very comfortable in it at the same time I don't know I love all of these a lot but <laughs> I can't decide which is my favorite to be honest because I love them all for like in different ways but yeah I feel like this is just a classic again doesn't matter if I'm gonna be getting dirty learning sliding around on my bum who knows what I'm gonna be like on the slopes but yeah, I love this and I love the shape of it. And yeah, again, I'll leave size references down below for this one. Next up, these are the Topshop snow pieces I was talking about. So I'm just gonna share the thermals that I'm actually wearing under the ski suit you're about to see. But they do a huge range of thermals, beanies, ski suit, like trousers. They do ones with braces and the straps and things like that. They do such a big range. I had no idea that they did so like many online, but they're actually, I'm hoping by the time I post this, they're still in their like January sales because I basically ordered the ski suit I'm about to share in a size eight and realized actually I wanted to go true to size with a size six because it still had quite a lot of room and I felt like it'd still be layered up with. And then when I went to return it and then reorder it, it's gone into the sale. So again, I got like most of these pieces all on the sale on ASOS as well. So fingers crossed there is still that going on, but they do this suit, which you're gonna see now in a green and this amazing hot pink color. Like, I'm sorry, I'm obsessed. I am so obsessed with this. I literally am a pink girl through and through. As some of you may know, if you've watched previous videos, I have so much pink in my wardrobe and I think this is just so fun really really comfortable again really thick and padded like it just feels like I'm in a duvet <laughs> that's the only way to describe it like I feel like if I'm gonna fall on my ass I have a little bit of protection it's like that kind of thing but I love the shape of this I think this is probably gonna be day one outfit for me because I know for a fact I'm gonna be seen if I get lost I know the girls aren't gonna lose me in this and also I feel like I can slide around quite a lot on it and it's super super comfortable and I can like really kind of move around and learn how to ski in this which I really like and then the goggles as well which I should talk about these are from Messy Weekend so they do some really high quality premium goggles and I have gone for a grey pair with like a pink tint and then the black pair with the red tint as well but they come actually with other tints and protection that you can like switch out the lenses for so I'm going to leave those linked down below as well if you guys are looking for any goggles and things like that most Actually, all of us girls on the trip have all messy weekend goggles as well, which is really cool. And then with the gloves that I've got, I've gone for some from ASOS and some mittens, which you would have saw, and also some from a ski company, which I can't remember the name of, but I'm going to leave them linked down below. So just in case you are looking for like ski gloves as well, you can have a look at the ones that I've gone for. But yeah, 
they are all the pieces and the things I'm going to be taking with me. Over on TikTok, I will be doing a pack with me in a little bit more detail when I'm just about to go. Um, I've kind of like laid everything out into my suitcase at the moment, but I'm going to do a proper pack with me. But yeah, if you have any questions about any of the pieces, then do leave me a comment, send me a DM, anything like that. And I will see you guys in the next video. I am sending so much love to you all. And thank you for being here and watching today's video as well. And I'll see you in the next one. Lots of love, guys. Mwah. Bye.